When it comes to commercial truck insurance, location is critical and reducing your insurance costs requires looking at your operation the way an underwriter does. And one thing that underwriters are looking at is what state you're doing business in. As of right now, the worst states to get commercial truck insurance in are California, Ohio, New Jersey, and New York. Let's start with California. According to a recent trip report, California is at the top of the list for congested urban interstates and ranks the highest for most daily interstate travel per lane mile. Why? Well, California has more residents than all of Canada and way more traffic jams. More traffic jams means a lot more vehicle accidents and increasing accident rates. Ultimately, this creates a domino effect. More traffic jams leads to more claims, which leads to more payouts on claims, which can lead to the insurance companies taking a loss. And when insurance companies are losing money or not making money at all, they can do one of two things, pull out of the state and stop offering insurance or dramatically increase insurance rates, which would ultimately lead to customers switching insurance providers anyways. On a side note, for non-commercial auto insurance, California is a very consumer friendly state and insurance companies must have any rate hike approved first. Recently, Progressive was asking for more than a 19% rate increase, and they are also requiring a minimum down payment of 50% for new entrant carriers in their California commercial auto, business auto, and contractor programs. Many other insurance companies like State Farm, Allstate, and Farmers were also asking the California Department of Insurance for a nearly 7% premium increase. If you want CNS Insurance to get you a quote in California, unfortunately we can't. California is one state we do not write in because we are required to have a physical office there. But if you have questions or need an insurance quote for a state we do write in, you can contact us at info at cnsinsures.com or just fill out the form below and we can help you out. Next up is Ohio. Ohio is known as a state that regulates the insurance industry the most compared to any other state and they also constantly rank among the highest in trucking vehicle violations for light issues and maintenance issues. In addition, there are three major cities, Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Columbus. And large cities come with a lot of traffic and congestion, which ultimately leads to increased insurance rates, especially around the metro areas. Another interesting fact about Ohio law is it requires all businesses with employees to carry workers' compensation insurance. Big deal, right? A lot of states require workers' comp. Well, apparently Ohio has a unique law that prohibits businesses from purchasing coverage through private insurance carriers. Vicarious liability is another legal rule for insurance companies to overcome in Ohio. For example, say a truck driver acts out of negligence and injures someone. In Ohio, the victim could hold the employer vicariously liable for any injuries that occur. As a result, an accident victim's lawyer may build a case against a large corporation instead of an individual. By doing this, they're attempting to recover compensation from the employer, which tends to result in much larger claims for insurance companies. Now, on to New Jersey. Poor New Jersey. They constantly get a bad rap, especially from their neighbors in New York. Well, the same goes for commercial trucking insurance. It's not too complicated there, though. The state ranks among the top five states with the worst paved highways, the worst traffic, the worst truck parking problems, and so much more. Also, it doesn't help that it is a smaller state surrounded by megacities in Philadelphia and New York with poor bridges and roads. Lastly is New York. New York shares the same issues with its little brother when it comes to roads. Basically, the roads are terrible for the exact same reasons and underwriters want less congested states, safer roads, and ultimately, less claims. Just like in California, Progressive requires a minimum down payment of 50% for new entrant carriers in their New York commercial auto, business auto, and contractor programs. New York's state minimum liability limit for fleets not held by the FMCSA regulation follows the 25-50-10 rule. To keep it simple, this means that the dollar amounts paid out by your insurance company are much higher than neighboring states at $25,000 for each person injured, 50,000 for all people injured, and 10,000 for all property damaged. New York is also a no-fault state. This means that people can only sue an at-fault driver for injuries after the coverage provided by personal injury protection has been exhausted. 
Lastly, New York requires all commercial vehicles to have uninsured motorist coverage. This insurance helps pay for the medical expenses that result from injuries caused by an uninsured driver or a hit and run situation. If you have questions about your coverage in any of these states or would like to shop your insurance, you can fill out the form below or give CNS Insurance a call at 1-800-724-5523 and one of our commercial insurance specialists will help you out.